From killer whales and walking fish to tiger sharks and snakehead fish, here are 10 sea creatures that hunt land animals. Number 10. Wells Catfish The largest specimens have reached lengths of 16 feet, 5 meters and weight around 660 pounds, that's 300 kilograms. These catfish can be found in areas of southern, central and eastern Europe, where they prefer large lakes and deep rivers. They're regarded as aggressive predators that use their sharp teeth to capture and kill their victims. In the Tarn River of France, it seems they've developed a taste for pigeons. They have been observed to grab the birds by the riverbank. But it's only the catfish that measure around 5 feet long, 1.5 meters, that display this activity. It's unknown why the medium-sized fish developed a fondness for the birds. Some experts think it may have to do with the animal's size. Larger specimens can't cross the shallow water by the riverbank, and smaller specimens don't have enough strength to grab the pigeons. Another theory suggests that the amount of suitable prey has diminished to the point where the fish must look outside the water for their food. One thing is certain, the unusual behaviour has not been documented among other European Wells catfish. Number 9. Killer Whales Growing to around 26 feet long and weighing more than 13,000 pounds or 6 metric tons, these toothed whales are the largest members of the dolphin family. As its traditional name implies, this beast is a bona fide apex predator. They will gobble up seals, dolphins, seabirds, octopuses, sharks and practically anything else they hunger for. That includes birds which are grabbed while flying over the water or creatures that wander too close along the coastline. There are some unsubstantiated reports of orcas in Alaska killing and eating larger land animals like moose as they tried to cross the water. Number 8. Tiger Shark It's one of the largest extant sharks which can grow more than 16 feet long, 5 meters and is recognized by its dark, tiger-like striping. These apex predators will typically swim at depths of 350 meters or over 1100 feet below the surface, but they can show up near the coastline. When they show up in shallow waters, they can pose a threat to humans. Next to the great white, this species has received the most reports of inflicting fatal attacks. They're infamous for their rapacious appetite, chowing down on crustaceans, dolphins, sea snakes and even objects that are inedible, like car tires. They've even shown an appetite for birds, but they don't need to be near the land to get this meal. Very often the tiger shark's avian meal will literally fall out of the sky and into the water. That happens when birds migrate over long distances to breed. If they lose their direction, the birds will just keep flying until they're exhausted. Then they fall out of the sky and into the waiting jaws of the shark below. Number 7. Archerfish this small tropical fish generally measures about 10 centimeters long, 4 inches, although some species can grow larger. As their name implies, archerfish shoot their prey, usually insects, with water droplets expelled from its mouth. And their aim is on par with hawkeye or green arrow. Adult fish normally strike their target on the first shot, at distances up to 3 meters, 10 feet above the water's surface. Researchers have found that the creature's uncanny accuracy has to do with accounting for the way light bends as it strikes the water. The archerfish can compensate its aim to find an insect's actual position, as opposed to its perceived position as viewed from underwater. The creature also takes gravity into account as it gauges the distance between itself and the prey and adjusts the power of its shot according to the size of its victim. The upshot is that the target is knocked off its perch and into the water where the archerfish awaits. Number 6. Snakehead Fish These long, predatory fish will generally measure a little over 3 feet long, 100 centimeters. But the largest specimen on record was documented in 2018. That one was killed in Maryland and weighed nearly 20 pounds, 9 kilos, while measuring some 35 inches or 89 centimeters. They originated in China and Russia, then was later introduced into other parts of the world. In many places, it is now considered an invasive species. There's a good reason for concern, because these beasts have insatiable appetites and can destroy the ecosystems of lakes and streams. They have several physical traits that distinguish them. That includes their long dorsal fins with dozens of rays and wide mouths that are crammed with sharp, shiny teeth. 
As if they weren't enough of a terror in the water, snakeheads can live on land for several days thanks to its unusual respiratory system. They can also travel for short distances over land by using a wriggling motion. In Australia, they've been observed to leave the water to hunt rodents, water birds and snakes. Number 5. African Tigerfish These critters are found in various lakes and rivers of the continent and are known for their fearsome, proportionately large teeth. There are five species, and larger ones like the Goliath tigerfish have been known to weigh more than 110 pounds or 50 kilograms and measure 5 feet long or 1.5 meters. But the variety that make our list today goes about 1 meter long, 3.3 feet. Reports of smaller species of tigerfish leaping out of the water to snatch low-flying birds has circulated around Africa since the 1940s. In 2014, the first direct evidence of the creature's ability to do this was documented at a South African lake, as it snatched a barn swallow out of the air. It's considered the first definitive proof of a freshwater fish preying on a bird in flight, and it's the only one known to employ this hunting method. Experts say the fish can track the bird from below the water's surface and time their leap to catch it, or they will wait underwater until the bird flies past, then make the leap. Number 4. Eel Catfish Found in the swamps of Central Africa, this air-breathing catfish is known for its ability to hunt in or out of the water. At about 13 inches long, 33 centimeters, they can propel themselves out of the water to capture prey. They have evolved specific strategies for dealing with prey according to the habitat. In the water, the fish will suck food and water into its mouth. On land, the eel takes its prey by lifting the front of its body and then bending its mouth down onto the victim. Very often, those land-based prey are beetles, which the fish will carry in its jaw to eat in the water. Experts say that the eel's contortion is made possible due to an adaptation in its spine. Number 3. Mudskippers There are 32 species of this amphibious fish which are known to use their fins to walk on mud. Since that walking motion can resemble skipping, their nickname is understandable. In the water, these fish will breathe through their gills. They can survive on land for a time thanks to some physical adaptations that enable them to breathe through the lining of their mouth and through their skin. That method is similar to amphibians, but it only works when the fish are wet or moist. That's why they only show up in tropical or subtropical environments, including the Indo-Pacific and the Atlantic coast of Africa. They can stay active out of the water as they engage in defending their territory, mating and feeding. Mudskippers will not only feed on worms and insects, but also on their fellow mudskippers. Number 2. Rainbow Trout These fish are known as hardcore predators that will chow down on anything they can capture. That diverse diet includes insects, crustaceans and smaller fish. It wasn't until 2013 that researchers discovered that rainbow trout had an appetite for small land mammals. That's when a specimen was found with 20 shrews in its belly. It was subsequently shown that the trout also prey on voles, mice and any other small mammals that are plentiful within its range. The fish are known for their ability to leap high out of the water, but experts still don't know exactly how the trout capture their mammalian prey. It's possible that the victims are caught when they wander too close to the edge of a riverbank. Some, like shrews, will enter shallow streams in search of insects. That makes them easy prey for the rainbow trout. Number 1. Silver Arowana This one is native to South America, where it can grow as long as 4 feet or 1.2 meters. It's known for their tapered tails and large, armor-like scales. Their appearance has lent these animals the nickname of dragonfish, but the species has another nickname inspired by their feeding behavior. The fish are known as monkeyfish due to their habit of jumping out of the water to capture their prey, which is often smaller primates. These fish are also known to feed on other mammals, including mice and bats. Birds, insects and crustaceans are also on their menu. Since they swim near the water's surface, any creature in the area could be potential prey for these voracious beasts. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit that big red subscribe button and click the bell for notifications for our next exciting episode right here 
on Epic Wildlife.